بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه حياكم الله أيها الأحبة في الله نسأل الله سبحانه وتعالى أن يبارك لنا في الصوم وفي القيام وفي الدعاء وفي كل أعمال البر في هذا الشهر الفضيل We pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you for all and every good deed that you do in the fasting month of Ramadan. Being in the month of Ramadan, we'll continue talking about Ramadan, a hadith that gives you a different and a special glad tidings saying the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam كل عمل ابن آدم له إلا الصوم أو إلا الصيام فإنه لي وأنا أجزي به All the actions of the human being or the actions of the son of Adam are for him except fasting it is special for me and I personally reward for it Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaking this is a divine hadith hadith Qudusi what do we understand from this? We understand that all the actions, the good ta'at that you do, you have some advantage or some benefit you reap from it in this world. It may be prestige, it may be a payback, it may be a compliment, it may be a show off. There is something in it for you except fasting it is only for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala meaning no one ever fasted for anything except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala pagans never fasted for dead people or for the graves or for the uh, uh, idols or any of those gods fasting is only for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala no one fasts for anything else no one fasts to get paid. No one fasts for prestige or for show off because no one knows you're fasting unless you say it. So it is so special and so sincerity is max for it and that's why the reward is unheard of. Even angels don't know what to reward you for it. And anytime Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells you something, I reward for it, or I take care of it for you, know for sure that it is huge. I'll give you another example. If you forgive and you mend things, your reward is on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's for a person who has the right, yet he gives it up for the purpose of reconciliation. Similar to fasting. Then the Prophet said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Adam Prophet Muhammad swears in the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The smell that emanates from your breath, that people run away from it, that people don't like, in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, much better than the smell of the best perfume ever. And that smell will be special for you the day of judgment, when you walk amongst people, you will have that beautiful smell coming out of your mouth where people would know that you are special person in fasting or you have been doing a lot of fasting. And then Prophet Muhammad said, فَإِذَا كَانَ يَوْمُ صَوْمِ أَحَدِكُمْ فَلَا يَرْفُثْ وَلَا يَصْخُبْ وَإِنْ وَإِنْ شَتَمَهُ أَحَدٌ وَإِنْ سَابَهُ أَحَدٌ أَوْ شَتَمَهُ فَلْيَقُلْ إِنِّي صَائِمٌ If someone, when you're fasting, if someone cusses you, someone wants to fight with you, what do you do? You say, إِنِّي مْرُؤٌ صَائِمٌ I am 
a fasting person. Reminder for him that what you're doing is not fitting with fasting. It's going to ruin your reward. And reminder for yourself, I am fasting so I should not retaliate with evil and I should be quiet. So it's a reminder for the person who's attacking you and a reminder for you to refrain from that and definitely one of the two will have some common sense and refrain from all of that. Then Prophet Muhammad sallallahu said, As-Sawmu Jannah. Fasting is a protection, a shield. A shield from evil, a shield from the hellfire. Imagine the day of judgment, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, every fasting person, fast one day for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's not even in Ramadan. Distance your face 70 years from the hellfire. And then finally the Prophet said, Fasting person has two happy times. You will have it, I will have it, every one of us will have it, inshaAllah. Farhatun inda fitri, when you break your fast, look how happy you are, look at the food you're expecting. Wa farhatun inda liqai rabbi. And one, when you meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala discloses for you the reward for fasting, you will have a wonderful life and a wonderful happiness and pleasure of your life. Remember one thing and I conclude with that. Look how you are when you're fasting in Ramadan, how close you are to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, how good you are, how good you feel and how happy you are. Eid comes after that, you celebrate that. If you live the same way, the day of judgment will be Eid for you in Shabbat. We all feel the day of judgment. We all feel the blowing the trumpet. Live the way you are living now, inshallah. It will be a celebration for you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us celebrate the day of judgment. Live on la ilaha illallah and die on la ilaha illallah. Stick to the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Be happy. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. No coffee. We have to pray all eight, inshallah, then coffee.